Now, lots of you are really frustrated because you really want to get sewing, but the light levels are so low and you're probably wondering why it's so important that we wait until the middle of February. Now, the light is not going to be brilliant in the middle of February. It's just going to be less dark. So we wait until that point before we sow our seeds. And then as the days go on, it will get lighter and lighter. So the, the shutters are not going to suddenly go up in the middle of February. I wish. When a seed germinates, it's got everything it needs to get going and get to the light. Then it will open its cotyledons, those are called seed leaves, it will open them up and it will need to photosynthesize in the light to create energy so that it can grow on further. If you sow your seeds too early and the light levels are too low, what will happen is when the seedling opens up its cotyledons, it will find that there is not enough light to create food for it to thrive and the plant will get sick really quickly and often they can die on you. This can actually cause you to have a delay because it might be a while before you realise that your plants are not going to make it or it might be a while before they die. Um, and then by the time you work that out, you're actually further behind than you would have if you'd waited and you could have used all your special seeds up. So you might be waiting for a new seed delivery. So jumping the gun and sowing too early can sometimes actually set you back. The plants that we started in the autumn we started them when the temperatures were still quite warm and the light levels were still quite high. They were able to germinate, get themselves into growth and turn into nice sturdy plants, which are able then to just basically hang out in the greenhouse. As the temperatures fall and the light levels drop, they barely grow at all. You might get a little growth spurt if we get a warm spell, but other than that, they're just gonna hang out until the light levels return from the middle of February, not at the middle of February, but from middle of February, late winter into early spring, and they will spring into growth. The plants, they've not been growing through the winter, but the plants that we grew in the autumn, when it was still warm, are now gonna be significantly bigger than anything that you would start now. In simple terms, what we're waiting for is we're waiting for the temperatures to return and the light levels to return to almost the same position as they were when we started them in the autumn. The only difference is that the humidity is not going to be there. So we're gonna talk a lot about that and how we can kind of fake the conditions that they would have had in the autumn, that they would have started without really very much effort at all. We're gonna put a little bit more effort into it in the spring, but I'm gonna cover that in great detail. Now, as always, it's all written down in the handbook. So if you fancy having a read, then go and pour yourself a cup of tea, put your feet up.